Have you ever taught students keywords like less means subtract and then found word problems where less actually meant add? Yeah, me too. If keywords can't be trusted, what is an effective way to support students with understanding story problems? I propose a math language routine known as Three Reads, which supports students with reading comprehension and making sense of the task. And just as the name suggests, students will read the story problem three times. On the first read, students discuss what the story is about. This is when I can support students with any non-mathematical vocabulary that might prevent them from understanding. In this example, I will make sure students understand the game, Mancala, and how you play. On the second read, students identify any quantities that could be counted or measured. In this example, students might realize we can count how many seeds Han had or how many seeds there are total. On the third read, students discuss and even start to sketch different strategies or methods they might use to solve the problem. I like to wait to reveal the actual question until the third read, so that in the first two reads, students can focus on understanding the problem instead of jumping right to procedures. The great thing about this routine is that it is grounded in the context of the problem, so rather than students memorizing tricks or words that may or may not help them solve the problem accurately, they are making sense of every situation they encounter. Give three reads a try with your next word problem. Download this free resource for more information and visit us at teachinglab.org.